drive at the flywheel, right? Or the crank? Or yeah. And, and I'm guessing, I mean, everything you said was in the car was in the car, so it's probably 475. But you know what? It's got so much power in a light car. It's only 24 exactly. hundred pounds. That was going to be my next question is how you much know. does it weigh? Yeah. So what's the... Uh, What's the name of the company that built your motor? Fact, uh, Engine Factory up in Lebanon, New Jersey. They're one of two companies, I guess, that Factory 5 recommends. So how fun is she to drive? Oh, it's just fun. <laughs> I've wanted this thing ever since I was 18 in 1966. How long have you had it? Um, coming up on two years next month. Oh, nice. Yeah. And I can bring it out every, I don't know, three or four times a week. So did you have them build it? Or I did buy it? A doctor, yeah, okay. it was completely done. A doctor had it built. Again, he was diagnosed with Parkinson's as it was being completely I don't even know if he ever rode it. Oh. The odometer had 25 miles. Hey, but the company that built the motors, they do, that's been building a 10,000 square foot log cabin in Wisconsin. So it was titled in Wisconsin. Local, you know, go give him a ride or something. Yeah, you know, at this point, I'm not sure he's alive. Uh, you know, a couple of times I was going to write a letter and whatever. Yeah. Cause when I bought it, they didn't have the bill book. Apparently, it was missing. But I didn't know, you know, if I write a letter now and he's dead and, you know, may send his wife off. Yeah, no, uh, true, true. I, I want to get hold of the, the, the company or the mm -hmm. factory or whatever and say, hey, Copy on the owner now. Yeah. That is cool that it has another speedometer for the passenger. The deal right? on? No, no, no. It's not. No, that is. It's, it's, Here's the deal. The yeah, original the slab side Cobra didn't have the flared fenders when they first started. When he decided he wanted to go racing in Europe, that's when he decided he needed bigger wheels and, and whatever. He went to Europe. And he had everything but the speedometer in the car. And they said, well, if you want to race here, you need a speedometer. And he said, no, I'm racing. I don't need a speedometer. Right, because there's and, no speed limit. I'm racing. Right. And they said, no, if you want to race here, you need to put one in. So what's he do? He puts it over there. So I've got a GPS. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Right. You can't read it over there. 400 of the rear wheels, I'm hoping. Yeah, that's what we I'm all hope for high But even if it doesn't, even if dyna. it works out to four and a quarter at the flywheel and it's yeah. 375 or something, it's still. In a 2,400 pound car, I mean, it's got to be like 600 horses. You know, compared to, to that heavy beast or those heavy beasts. You know what I mean? It's... Yeah, what are they, about 38? Be like, no, I'm gonna take it for a lap, warm it up first. Right? Mission switch still starts in Yeah, Dan the Dino Man. Pro Dino. Yeah. I don't think I even introduced. We're back. I think we did. Anybody do. Back at Pro Dino, and here goes Dan getting ready to start his magic. A 68 replica Cobra. Yeah, 
feel shut off. I'm in your way, just knock me out of the way, alright?
problem was it would not stop until we figured out what the problem was. this beautiful beautiful car and uh, I got some good photos and he's offered to take me for a ride so we're about to go for a ride in it I'm stoked yeah now we're gonna see if my big six-foot body can oh, uh, it'll get in there you fit may in not this get little out, hole. <laughs> Exactly. Man, it's comfortable actually. Yeah. The seats are really bad. comfortable. Oh, man, I'm excited.
in the sunset. 